Hello and welcome to a Warframe video. So, you've already seen the build. This is a video where I just wanted to reminisce and uh, wholeheartedly uh, enjoy playing as my old buddy, uh, Nidus. And uh, the build I'm using is a max, a max range build that's centered around his larva. There'll be no building of stacks, there'll be no uh, use of any other ability aside from his second power. And um, you've already seen the build, so you already know I'm using Larva Burst, which means that I can burst that larva at any moment. That's his second power. And um, yeah, I can use it to great effect in order to pull enemies in and then burst it. And it's a very, very satisfying feeling. Um, now this build was actually seen from another YouTuber, which I usually watch whenever it comes to Warframe. His name is Tactical Potato, you probably know him. He's very famous when it comes to the Warframe community. However, um, I, would say I wanted to build on top of it. Obviously, there is no build that is the end of whatever it is you're building. Uh, I usually just take someone's build as a reference as to how maybe I should build it and as a general idea as to how maybe I can you know, make the benefit of some abilities or, or usage. And while this particular build is not exactly the most efficient or the most effective when using with Nidus, it is actually tons and tons of fun and what in a game that is the most important thing. So obviously I decided to just have a go at it and enjoy myself. And in I was basically doing I was I was farming for experience, leveling up in Hydron, of course. And uh, I always know that in, in Hydron enemies just in, they just appear in large groups essentially from all directions. Uh, and uh, yeah, I decided, you know what, let's let's use Spaghetti Nidus and see how he works. Let's just ha let's have some fun. Uh, if, if anything fails, uh, I'll just pile every enemies up in one location where my where my teammate can actually like um, just take them all out at once. Uh, to my surprise, with this with the build that I'm using, uh, enemies are only like what within the 30s to 40s. So I'm actually kind of so I'm, they're not really that special, but. Um, yeah, I was actually killing them with a single burst of my um, of my larva burst, so I'm actually quite surprised. Now, normally things would be a lot more fluid. We did have a limbo, which made things a little bit more complicated, but at the same time, it didn't really stop me because um, I have tons of range and I can basically pull enemies in before they can even touch this bubble. So, um, yeah, I essentially start pulling enemies in and then burst on them every now and then, and then spam that, and then spam and repeat. I'm using the Neurix, so obviously I'm, I'm filling my energy up as much as possible. At the same time, I'm also using Hunter Adrenaline in order to uh, take benefit from being shot at and actually gain energy on top of that. And if positioned properly, if you burst Larva right on top of you and kill enemies that are as, as they're falling down, which not only is cool but also enjoyable, uh, yeah, once they burst, if they um, if they drop energy orbs, they, those energy orbs will essentially just drop right on top of you. And obviously I'm using a sentinel with uh, vacuum, so anything within my radius would be vacuum right onto me. And um, yeah, that, that actually kept most of the time my energy. I didn't really need to use the Nurik because enemies were being... Well, they're, they're, they were being dead right on top of me and uh, showering me with all their goods without, any, without me worrying about anything. Uh, Lava Burst does deal a innate toxin damage. That's not very effective against Grenier. It would be effective against Corpus if you, you know, get rid of the nullifiers and stuff. But it did it did do some decent damage, and I'm actually quite surprised that it actually killed them with one burst. I don't know if, if Larva Burst actually gains more damage. I do know that it gains more damage or, or something the more sta infested stacks you have, so it is, it is beneficial to, um, to like build your stacks before actually using it, but at the same time, like I said, I wasn't actually aiming for like doing anything, even though I did have the most kills and the most damage at the end of this, um, <laughs> by the end of the match that we did, uh, mostly because I was just pulling enemies in from all directions and then killing them before my teammates actually had a chance to even do anything to them. Uh, <laughs> I feel sad, but at the same time, hey, it, it's Nidus. Most people use him as a tank, I use him as a crowd controller, hey, why not? And it's actually quite effective too. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I actually wanted to use this this build specifically because I was just I wanted to have some fun. And um, aside from efficiency, like with grinding and experience and stuff, I just I remember to I remembered myself that just how much fun something can be when you essentially incinerate it on being fun. And it was actually a very enjoyable experience. So. I just wanted to bring it out there. I mean, Spaghetti Unitas has already been, you know, known for a very long time, but I just wanted to, you know, like to... It was more nostalgia than anything else, than just making a video for Unitas. It was more like, you know, looking back at the memories and just enjoying this, the build that once was. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna end the video here. You don't need to see the, the entirety of the match, that's boring. You can go, if you've already seen the build, so you can test it out for yourselves if you haven't already. But tons of fun, if you love Nidus, it's tons and tons of fun. So yeah, thank you for watching, stay cool, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye!